These days, it's not uncommon to see a young man in therapy because he's dealing with the emotional fallout of a terrible relationship or because he cried over an insult. In contrast to men who hunted animals with short spears hundreds of years ago, walked many kilometers in sweltering heat to seek water, and engaged in life or death battles over territory, the men of our generation are far too weak, and those who came before us would crush our fragile generation to death. But what caused this to happen? Why aren't men in today's society as strong as they should be? It all comes down to three main problems. Number one, lack of pain tolerance. Without today's readily available painkillers and advanced medical care, people once had to learn to live with almost constant discomfort. Whether it was a minor headache, severely fractured bone, or amputated leg, they felt every ounce of anguish for as long as it lasted. A toothache would continue to be incredibly painful until it was either forcibly extracted from their jaw or yanked out, which is also highly unpleasant. Virtually everyone would have had to deal with pain on a daily basis, because stopping may mean death for them and their loved ones. They had no choice but to carry on with their day despite the suffering. Number 2. Absence of a Resilient Mindset Ancient men experienced an abundance of adversity in addition to their regular extreme pain, including heat, humidity, rain, cold, smoking, odor, biting insects, and more. These were the affluent class of society. It was common for even the middle class to have dwelling conditions that today's homeless would consider awful. When your only protection from the elements is a hole in the wall, your only means of keeping warm is a smoky open fire on the floor, and your only means of sanitation is a bucket beside the wall, you get the full effect of the weather, the bugs, and the stench, even if they weren't in bodily pain they certainly suffered from a level of chronic discomfort that would make even the hottest outdoors types of today wince. It was just another day in their lives, so it probably didn't even occur to them. Number 3. Insufficient Physical Toughness Except for the most privileged, ordinary men had to put up with a degree of labor and discomfort that would shock and fatigued many 21st century men. If they needed water to accomplish anything, they put on their bucket and head to the water source. Toss back that heavy bucket hand wash everything. The clothes used to hang by hand on the line. They prepared each bite of food manually. If the carpet seemed dirty, they used to take it outside and beat it till it was clean. Even though they presumably weren't using hand tools, Traditional farming was a lot of hard work compared to modern farming. The point has been made. It took significant physical effort just to get through a day of routine housework. This does not mean that people of that era were ripped and muscular. On the contrary, their continual use of their muscles in physical labor gave them the appearance of being wiry or raw-boned. But what about physical stamina? the capacity to toil away day after day without stopping. Nobody now could compete with practically anyone from the 19th century or earlier. The way that the modern man thinks and uses his brain needs to be rewired. We've been conditioned by the culture and the need for constant gratification to have a slack and carefree approach to life. At some point, you need to pause and evaluate your current situation. Most men today spend their days consuming stupid and overly sexualized material, eating crap they know is bad for their bodies. They lie out in front of the TV for hours while binge-watching Netflix and drooling over strange ladies they find on the internet. Is this the kind of man you aspire to be? Certainly not. But the unfortunate truth is that the vast majority of men will continue engaging in the same behaviors on a regular basis, not recognizing the possible risks to their health 
sanity, and most dangerously, their masculinity. Your manhood is under serious threat, so stop ignoring it.